Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 6, verses 51 through 58. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Today we celebrate the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ, also known as Corpus Christi. On this special day, we turn our hearts and minds to the profound mystery of the Eucharist, the sacrament in which Jesus gives himself to us as food for our journey of faith. In the Gospel of John today, we're presented with Jesus' powerful teaching on the gift of his body and blood, and it invites us to reflect on the profound depths of his love and the transformative power of the Eucharist in our lives. In this special gospel passage, Jesus speaks in vivid and almost startling terms when he says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Powerful, isn't it? Jesus reveals to us that he is the true bread of life, the source of eternal nourishment and sustenance. He promises that whoever partakes of this special bread, his very own flesh and blood will have eternal life. These words of Jesus challenge us to go way beyond mere intellectual understanding of the Eucharist and to embrace a deep and personal encounter with him. Jesus desires to enter into a profound union with us, to nourish us not only physically but spiritually so that we may experience the fullness of life in him. Through the Eucharist, Jesus offers himself as the ultimate sustenance, satisfying our deepest hunger and thirst for meaning and purpose and communion with God. The celebration of the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ calls us to live out the reality of the Eucharist in our daily lives. We're called to become living witnesses of Christ's love, to be bread, broken, and shared for the life of the world. Just as Jesus gives himself completely to us, we are called to give ourselves selflessly to others, becoming agents of love, mercy, and reconciliation. And so today, let's pray and open our hearts to the transformative power of Christ's body and blood and allow the profound mystery of the Eucharist to strengthen our faith and deepen our love for God and for one another, empowering us to be authentic disciples in the world. 